Hi friends, I am Mrs. Ragini. I am back with a very very simple home style soup that is for winter. So today we are going to learn how to make home style beetroot and tomato soup. Very very simple to make, just we need to boil the ingredients, that's it. So to make this beetroot and tomato soup, first we need the beetroot. Depending upon how much quantity you are making, you can increase the quantity of beetroot. So I have taken one big beetroot today and I have cut into nice cubes. So first we are going to boil this beetroot and just one big tomato. So dear friends, I have covered with a lid and you know, I am just cooking in a very slow flame till it is you know, 80 to 90 percent done or what you can do is just take a pressure cooker and you can just pressure cook for one whistle, then it will be nice and soft. So whichever way you are comfortable, you can make it. If you want little bit fast, then you can use the pressure cooker or otherwise the boiling method. So here it's done. So I'm just going to switch off the flame and this, you know, just let it sit for you know two to three minutes because this is nice and hot so once this is cooled down then we are going to make it into a nice fine paste so dear friends here is our beetroot and tomato puree for soup ready this is the easiest way to do our soups if you want you can use the chicken stock or you know vegetable stock and make your soups when i wanted to make it i make it this way very fast and you know this you can little bit thick but we are going to make it you know little bit richer by adding some you know flavors so first add some butter you can just take one tablespoon of butter and in this we are going to add some finely chopped garlic to give nice flavor and just saute it nice garlic flavor here and in this we are going to add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour you know to give little bit of thickness so just add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour so just mix it nicely just we are going to cook it till you know our raw flavor is gone just for a minute and then we are going to add our puree so here the raw flavor is gone so just now we are going to add the puree very slowly and you know see that this won't form any lumps and add some water because this is nice and thick and just add the water if you want you can add little bit of milk also once your you know butter has nicely cooked you can add little bit of milk and then you can cook and then you can add your puree of this beetroot and in this we are going to add for seasoning we are going to add some pepper this is crushed pepper if you want you can add white pepper also and we didn't add salt at all so we are going to add the salt also as per taste you can add I always say when you're making soups, you know, just add very little salt because we are going to have the soups like that. So just mix it once. See, this is nice and thick. And I have checked the taste also. It's so, so nice. Even the salt is perfect and even the pepper powder is perfect. So see, just one boil is enough because we added good amount of, you know, our flour to give nice thickening so just one boil that's it because we already boiled our vegetables so you need not boil too much so this is perfect now you can just switch off the flame so dear friends if you see this is nice and red now we are going to serve it into a soup bowl see nice red red color you know when you have some parties or so you can just you know keep your vegetables boiled and ready and the moment you have your guest, just blend your puree and make your nice awesome soup. Isn't it very very simple to make it? So here in the last, if you want, you can just add some cream. So here is the cream. So just for the garnish, if you want, you can add a little bit also. That's it. And this is nice and red. Here is, we are going to just give a touch of our coriander or you can just either put some mint also for nice look. So I told you know nice look we are going to put some coriander so dear friends home style beetroot and tomato soup is all ready for all of you to make it so dear friends please make it and enjoy it you're going to love it like how i am loving it so let's taste it see wow nice rich little bit cream and little bit red in color white in color wow Mm. 
I don't feel the flavor of beetroot at all. Very, very nice flavor. Only by the color, you can say that this is beetroot. But otherwise, when you're having, I don't feel that I'm having a beetroot soup. This is so, so wonderful and yummy. So dear friends, make this and enjoy it for this winter. You're going to love it. So see you in another session with some more recipes. I'm going to enjoy this.